Hi, I'm Ash. Welcome back to my channel. The other day I received this DM on Instagram and I realized that I've never really explained OTT. I know, right? Crazy. I use this thing in every one of my videos and I just never have really gone super in depth with it. But today is OTT day. Let's freaking go. It's the slap it on shit and make it sound good plugin. But there's a little bit more to it than that and some really, really cool stuff you can do with it. So if you're ready, I'm gonna dive right in. Today I'm going to go over what OTT actually is, how it works, what each knob does, and at the end of the video I want to show you some cool tricks that you can do with it. So OTT it is available in Ableton as a multiband dynamics preset or as a third party plugin, not sponsored, from Xer. It's a free download, so check that out. Today I'll be going over the Ableton version, but these tricks will apply for the third party version. I'm going to go from beginning to end, how I put OTT onto a sound, and I'll explain each knob as I do it. I'm going to use a super saw because it has really big range of sound from lows to mids to highs, and OTT really works great on super saws. So here's what we got in my Bloody Valentine one hour remix. I don't. You want to see how I did that? Check this. This is the super saw. What does it do by default? OTT instantly adds thickness, fullness, it brings out the harmonics, and it's a really great way to see what compression actually does to your sound because of how extreme OTT compresses stuff. It's a compressor, but it's not just any other compressor. It's different because it splits up the compression between three ranges, high, mid, and lows, hence multi-band. So what's OTT then? It's a preset that everything is set to the extreme, so it sounds like compression, except it's over the top. O, T, T. Brilliant. So by default, when you slap it on, you hear that instant thickness, that fullness I was talking about. What I like to do is I like to adjust the output, to give it a bit more loudness so we can really hear what's going on. Hold up, hold up. Be very careful. It sounds really good once it's loud, but you want to keep an eye on this little bar here because you don't want to be fooled by louder is better. You want to avoid making it loud with OTT because you want to hear if the compression actually improves the sound and isn't just making it loud. So by managing your output, no clipping means no distortion. And in case you want to add any other effects after it, you won't add any distortion either. And the next knob I like to turn is the amount. And what this does is it balances the original signal with the new OTT compressed signal. You can hear how it actually sounds and decide how much you want to use. But for this case, I'm just going to go all the way. I love that OTT sound. And now the time knob, I'm not actually sure exactly what it does, but if I use it in combination with say a reverb or a delay, it allows me to shorten or lengthen the reverb tail. I think it could affect the attack or release. The high time keeps it tight, low time keeps it loose. Producer police! He doesn't even know what the knobs do! If he was a real producer, he would know exactly how each knob works, what it does, and all the as nice as it is to know exactly what every single knob does and exactly what parameters it affects, there's something inherently fun about just experimenting and don't be discouraged if you feel overwhelmed by all the stuff that Ableton or music production has to offer. I've been there. If you can even just give yourself a general knowledge of how certain things work, that's an amazing start and you'll only get better from there. The more you do this, the more you actually become the knowledge expert that these elitists or producer police are super obsessed with. So by bare minimum, you should just see at least how the knob affects the sound. You just turn it, see how it affects the sound. Don't focus so much on all the little ins and outs of it. Just have fun with it, experiment. See what stuff does. Now getting back into it, you also have the bands. I don't like to mess with them too much because that's what the preset is. But you can use these to fine tune a sound, kind of like EQ. And you can also solo them out to hear exactly what they do. I like to boost the mids, especially for basses, if I want to get it thick, or the highs if I want the lead to cut throughs. And in context... And here's some other cool stuff you can do with OTT. Uh, if you want to do a crunchy sub bass, like in hip hop, you can add OTT after the distortion and it'll balance the thickness of the bass but also add a nice warmth to it. 
Now you might have also seen a lot of producers use multiple OTTs. OTT highlights the characteristics of the plugin behind it. That's why a lot of people be using multiple OTTs. In this scenario, I haven't really done that. I like how it is, but I just want to accent it a bit more so you add a second OTT and then you fiddle with the amounts to get a good balance, but that's some real fine tuning stuff. Hey, you know, if you want to color your sound a little bit with OTT and then accent the coloring of that sound, you can totally do it. It's your song, do what you want. And then there's a cool metallic thing you can do with OTT is if you're making dubstep or rhythm, go ahead, put a chorus and a reverb behind OTT here. Four, it'll sound like this. So go ahead and add your chorus, your reverb, and then put OTT. I even went to Discord and I asked some people what tricks they like to do. A lot of people said they even just put it on everything. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But there is that amount knob that you can always turn and the output knobs that you can really balance how much OTT you're actually putting onto a sound. So in summary, you have OTT, which is thickness and color. That's what you use it for. Number two, just be very careful of the volume output so that you're not clipping, especially if you want to add any effects after OTT. And three, experiment. Have fun with it. Don't be overwhelmed. Just put it on everything. See if it works. If it doesn't, then whatever. That's it for today. If you like what I'm doing, please go ahead, hit that like and subscribe. I'm also on Twitter and Instagram. You can reach me there. Please follow me. Here's the link. And if you need sounds to play around with OTT, I've also got my bass bangers sample pack. Hello. That's available for free as well. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace out. Don't fret, go, go